Good morning, Hot Tots. Welcome back to my channel. So today, this morning, I woke up. My hands are a little puffy. My feet are a little puffy. Um, I helped my friend Megan move all yesterday. We had popped a bottle of champagne and drank it. She treated me to a dinner out, like a really nice dinner for helping her all day, which was so nice. But if you guys are following me on Instagram, which I'll pop up right here, if you don't, you should. <laughs> um, I posted how bloated I got. So I haven't really eaten out. Like, yeah, I've had like a Wendy's chili or um, Chipotle, you know, but I haven't had like a full meal out out other than like a salad um, in a long time. And so I had half of a pasta dish, we split a pasta, um, and it was like a nice restaurant where they actually give you the true amount of pasta, so it was like a cup of pasta um, and like a piece of pizza, and my stomach blew up like a balloon. I'm not sure if it was like, maybe if there was like, it was the dairy in it, because dairy affects me, um, but, or like the sodium or what, but man, I blew up like a balloon. <laughs> it was so funny, but, I I am about to put on some Beauty Counter Eye Reviving Masks. These are really awesome. If you guys didn't know, I sell a clean makeup beauty line. Anyways, I like to use these. Like I was up till 3 a.m. last night watching a show called The Good Wife. Um, I couldn't go to sleep for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because I was so puffy and in pain. I am drinking my coffee in my purr cup. <laughs> Just drinking my usual. I do sugar-free. It's like sugar-free, fat-free, I believe. Um, French vanilla creamer with regular coffee. I don't count my creamer. I only use about a tablespoon or two, and I don't count it. So drinking that. And then I have my water. So we're going to do something with ourselves. And then we'll be back. I'm going to go on a walk probably with my friend Caitlin. I need to like sweat out all this sodium and salt from yesterday and, you know, just get a move on. So good morning. I hope you're having a great day so far and I'll see you when I eat next. at 3.55 and we still got a couple to go. Whew. Whew. Five miles, time for a drink, I'm so thirsty. Okay, so just got done walking five miles. I did not have the energy or want to do that, but I did it, so proud of myself because I truly was so tired. I was like, ugh, <laughs> the whole time but I'm glad we did that. And now I need to go to Kroger because I really need to get more stuff for the Funfetti dip. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I've been eating this um, Funfetti dip like every day of my life. It is so, so good and I just love it. So I've been eating that every day. I didn't make it up, someone else did. I found it on other people's Instagrams though, so I'm not sure who was the originator. Um, my friend, Just Me Allison, who has an Instagram, um, she said it was her friend, and I forget what her friend's name was, but whoever made this up originally, I mean, if it was her, that's amazing. It is so freaking good. I eat it every day. Like, I don't eat apples like this, except for with this Funfetti dip. I am telling you, it is like phenomenal. But I'm going to the store to grab that. I'm gonna grab a huge water or like drink because I am purged. And then we're going to go home, make up some lunch because I haven't eaten lunch yet and it's 3.30. Like, what the H-E double hockey sticks was I thinking? Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys back at home. Okay, so I'm not starving yet for lunch and I know that that's crazy, but I've been really trying to listen to my body and actually listen if it's hungry, thirsty, whatever. So I poured a big water. I'm going to finish my watermelon. I have my Funfetti dip here. Um, I'll put it in the description box below, but it is half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. It is eight grams of Funfetti cake mix, the regular cake mix, and five grams of vanilla cheesecake sugar-free fat-free um, pudding mix. And then I put um, some chocolate chips in there. So this is actually two points for me when it's usually one point. 
Um, and then I think it's um, three points for the green. And then I just have one um, granny apple cut up and some strawberries to dip into it. It is so good, you guys. I've been eating it every day. So this is going to be a little two point snack until I decide when to eat lunch. I am just so thirsty and so dehydrated. I feel like I'm not hungry. I feel like I'm thirsty and wanting fruit. So I'm gonna eat this first and then I'll show you guys whatever I do for lunch or if I just skip to dinner and just do a huge dinner or whatnot. But we are just exhausted. Oh gosh, wow. Oliver's an otter, if you guys didn't know. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, Bubba's. Oh, my little angel. But anyways, that's what we're eating. I also want to give a big shout out to Olivia Freda Curves. She just shouted me out on her channel. And what's so funny is I feel like we found each other's channels at exactly the same time. And I love her channel as well. She's super calming. She's been doing Weight Watchers for a while, so she knows what she's doing. She has some good snack ideas, which I meant to get Jello. Dang it. She eats Jello a lot, like the sugar-free Jello. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that sounds like such a good idea when you like aren't super hungry, but you just want a snack and you just want something sweet. So, anyways, I'm gonna put up her. Um, YouTube handle here. She is so nice and so kind and we comment back and forth on each other's um, YouTube channels and I just feel like this, I'm sure you guys know what I mean but I just feel like she's someone I could be friends with in real life. So and I know you guys say that to me all the time but that's how I feel about her. So I like fangirl over her too. <laughs> but hi Olivia if you're watching this and thank you so much for shouting me out on your channel that was so nice and I wanted to give you a shout out as well because your channel is amazing I need to get better at that and shout out the channels that I love more often can we see that my gray hairs are coming in isn't that great you guys time to do my roots <laughs> I just wanted to call her out too because that was so so sweet of her and I just was taken aback. I hadn't watched her video yet because I've been, you know, lazy in the morning and then walking for 500 hours today. And I saw people say like, oh, Olivia called me out. And I was like, what? Like, I was so shocked that I thought that was the nicest thing ever. So I wanted to shout her out also because that is just the sweetest and she's the best too. And thank you, Olivia. So anyways, I'm going to eat my snack and I'll get back to you guys. And then... Gosh, sorry, it's so dark in here. I have one point's worth of the Bertoli's right there, marinara sauce, and I'm waiting for my six, well, they should be done, my six meatballs. I'm just having this as like a lunch. I'm gonna mix this up and then put a point's worth of Parmesan cheese on top. I'm just not hungry today, guys, and I have no idea why. It's 6.35. I'm definitely gonna probably eat later as well, but... I'm just gonna do this. This is four points for six meatballs, then one point for the sauce. So that'd be five points and then six points when you add the Parmesan cheese. So this will be my little like lunch slash dinner, but then I'm gonna have maybe a second dinner. <laughs> if not, then I'll just include something I eat tomorrow, but I don't know why I am not hungry today. Okay, so here they are. So four, five, six point lunch slash dinner slash who knows, but I'm eating these meatballs. <laughs> I'm excited. They sound so good right now. I'm just watching The Good Wife and I can't be pulled away. So I'm going to eat these and drink my water. Okay guys, it is the next day and I'm making dinner for myself. So you guys saw what I ate yesterday for the most part. I did not eat anything else and I went to bed early. So I was way behind in my points, but I was just listening to my body and I wasn't super, super hungry. So I wanted to show you guys because a lot of you asked me how I season my steak. So I'm just going to show you. I'm making my um, yum yum sauce type of like stir fry bowl that I like to make. If you guys are new here, this is a bowl that I really like to make. This is the sauce I like to use. It's like yum yum sauce like at Japanese steakhouses. It's yum yum light sauce by Terry Hose. I'm doing mine lower point today, so I'm not doing... Um, any rice, but I am doing, I cut up a lot of zucchini and a lot of onion, and I'm just gonna season up my steak and cook it and show you guys how I cook my steak because I get that question a lot. And I might add corn, but I think I ran out. <laughs> you 
You guys, I'm really like slacking on like the grocery shopping and I keep running out of things and it's making me very angry at myself. So I already seasoned the other side of this steak. I put onion powder on it. McCormick's Grill Master uh, Montreal Steak Seasoning. And then I put some garlic powder. I already seasoned the other side. So I take that and I put it on a hot skillet and I set my oven for 350 degrees. I'm also going to place all of my veggies onto the other skillet so they can start cooking up. And I usually add onion powder, garlic powder in here as well. I only add a teeny tiny bit of soy sauce at first so that these can brown up. And I like them kind of crispy. Uh -oh. um, I like my onions like crispy too, just me personally. So I'm just letting those cook up. I sear this on both sides. And then once it's seared on both sides, I then add the soy sauce and put it in the oven for about two to three minutes. I always buy like top sirloin steaks just because they taste the best to me. But yeah. And I'm sorry if you guys have seen this from me before. I know people who've been following me forever have, but it is what I'm eating tonight. And a lot of you have asked me about how I make this steak. So I figured I'd show you guys. So once it's been searing for a little bit, I just check underneath and make sure it has seared enough. I kind of like it like a little crisp. And then I place soy sauce all over it. And I flip it and get the juice on the other side too. And then I just go ahead and my oven is on, so I turn off my burner and I place this in the oven for about three minutes. So I just set my kitchen timer, three minutes, start. I use this soy sauce, less sodium at zero points. And you can obviously, like we've done before, put um, rice with it, cauliflower rice. But yeah, I'm trying to be lower point today, so I'm just stirring up these onions and zucchini and just eating that with the steak, and that's gonna be it. And then on top, like I said, I'm going to be putting this yum yum light sauce, and it is so good. I do not like it by itself. Like if I try it on its own, I think it's disgusting, but when you mix it in, so good. I had someone say that they hated it and I was like, I feel so bad for you, but like, I love this. I don't know if they didn't stir it in or what the stitch was, but if you've ever had like Japanese steakhouse yum yum sauce, get yourself some Terry Ho's light yum yum. Okay. Changing lives everywhere. Okay. Clear off. Says it's about done. Woo. So once it comes out, I literally just drench it in all this sauce. And then I just let it set for a second. Just sit it on a pan or on a cutting board and I let it sit there for a little bit, like about a couple minutes. All right, so I have my beautiful steak here. It's just been sitting for a couple minutes. I just cut it in half. Usually I eat half in one sitting, half in the other. Okay, so here's about the end product. So this is a little medium to medium rare. Um, I like it that way. So if you want it a little bit more, obviously put it in for longer. I do about two to three minutes, depending on how long I sear it. Like if I've been searing it and not really paying attention, I'm like, okay, I'll do two minutes and kind of check it and see, but. It's seriously so flavorful, so delicious. I cut up half for tonight and then I put the rest in a container and I make sure to cut it up so it's easy accessible, easily accessible for my meal. 
tomorrow or whenever and it is so good so i'll leave in the directions down below as well just in case but super easy yeah i'm going to plate this up and i'll show you guys what it looks like okay here it is looks so good and i'm just gonna add two tablespoons of this yum yum sauce i'll put on the screen how many points it is so good and then i'm gonna mix it all together Okay, I mixed in two tablespoons. I know it looks disgusting, but it's delicious. Um, and of course, I'm having a Sprite Zero. Just found these little guys and I was like, yes, we're doing it. So I'm having a Sprite Zero and that's gonna be my dinner. Okay, so for dessert, I'm doing kind of a mini peanut butter pie that I did before, but without the graham crackers. So I did 11 grams of the vanilla Jello. Um, which is one point. I did two tablespoons of PB2 because it's for one point for one or two tablespoons. So I said, heck yeah, I'm just doing two tablespoons. I did 19 Lily's chocolate chips, which equals one point. And then just a splash of almond breeze. So I'm not counting it. You obviously can. And then I'm gonna put some Ready Whip on top. And this is a three point dessert. Okay, let's try it. You guys. So good. It's like rich too. So you know like afterwards you're not like still craving another dessert. Cause I know I do. Unless something is like rich enough, you know? But that's it for today's video, you guys. I'm so sorry it was a little bit scattered, but I'm glad I got all three meals and a dessert in for you today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, cause it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.